All right, it is time for a Tesla update. Sorry, it's been a while, but I really don't have much to report. My date just keeps getting pushed out like everybody else. Anyways, if you didn't know, I put my order in the beginning of October of 21. I ordered metallic gray, black interior, the bigger dark wheels, whatever those are. Anyways, I did not get the full self-driving and I definitely got a deal on the car looking back now. The same one today, if I was to put the order in, would be like 6,500 bucks more. So the fact that they're honoring that price that I got back in October is pretty darn cool and it's worth the wait if you ask me so anyways my estimated delivery date right now is sitting at may 13 to june 10. will it change who knows probably the theme for me has been that the date sticks for about two weeks and then it gets pushed out about a month so we're coming up on may 13 here pretty soon seems soon anyways so i really really hope that it's going to be around that date but like I said, not really getting my hopes up here. Anyways, the reason for this video is to update you on the estimated delivery date, but I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, tax and how I'm gonna have to pay that on this car when I get it, and that's a lot of money. Uh, so I am getting it for around $60,000, and I am going to trade in, or I was gonna trade in, this car. It's a Toyota Highlander. Tesla told me they'd give me about $20,000 for it. Now, I've got to give the husband some credit for this one because I wouldn't even have thought of it. Apparently, if you trade in a vehicle in the state of Maine, you only pay the difference in sales tax. So if the Tesla's $60,000, I trade this in for 20, that means I only pay 5.5% on $40,000, not the full 60. So that's a savings, right? So it's savings about $1,000. So if I were to sell this privately, I would have to sell it for more than what I traded in to make up the difference. So the breakdown basically goes like this if I sell it for $21,000 uh, it's really not worth doing it it's just a hassle to privately sell it um, and then if I sell it for $22,000 um, I believe I would make up the difference and then $23,000 I'd be putting money in my pocket and well I actually settled on a deal with someone to sell it for $24,000 so I'm gonna have to pay the full tax five and a half percent on $60,000 but that's okay it's $3,000 so I'm getting $4,000 more than what Tesla was gonna give me if I traded it in for what Tesla was going to give me for the car, $20,000, I'd only be paying $2,000 in sales tax. And that would be money out of my pocket. But this way, I'll be able to put $3,000 down to pay my taxes, right? And then I'll have an extra $1,000 left over. So I can either put that towards the car or maybe buy myself a roof rack and something else fancy for the car. I don't know. Uh, so I'm not going to like leave money on the table, right? And I just got lucky, basically. I went to go register this car. And the person at the front desk, I've known her for many years at the town office, said, hey, this is just the car I've been looking for. Same year, same color, same everything. So we chit-chatted about it. She came and saw it, and we made the deal. Not only did we make the deal, she said, you can keep it until your Tesla comes. So now I'm not out of car either. I get to drive my car um, until... I get the Tesla and then she'll buy it for me then because, well, she's just not in a rush. So I can only hope and pray that uh, Tesla comes through for me here pretty soon and gets me my car so that uh, she doesn't go somewhere else or find something else she likes better. That's my only worry here. Um, otherwise, I'll probably be looking at uh, selling it um, privately um, or to some other third party type of company out there. Uh, because she's getting a di good deal, believe it or not. I feel like I'm getting a good deal too. And that's what deals are all about, if you ask me. I think both parties should feel like they're getting a good deal. And that's just the way of this situation. So anyways, I just wanted to update you on how the sales tax works here in Maine um, and the sales difference um, with the trade-in and all that stuff. So 
that's really all I got for you. I definitely will let you know when I get my VIN number. And from there, I'll be making some videos about the car too, just like everybody else out there. So thanks to you doing that. Anyway, if you are watching and you are making videos because they're extremely helpful for people that are waiting, we really don't have any idea what to expect, but we have more of an idea because of the videos you put out there. All right, like and subscribe if you want more. Take care.